Welcome to the new channel, Comic Book Reviews by Two Brothers Comics. This is the channel focused solely on comic book reviews from new comic book days to old comic book classics. This is where that is going to stay. So today we're going to do our first ever new comic book day review. I've picked out a couple of books this week that I was excited about. I'm going to do a quick review of those. Starting out with Basilisk number one by Cullen Bunn. This book was probably my most anticipated book for the week. Uh, it definitely gave um, a Something's Killing the Children vibe in, in the sense of I was excited we're getting this new horror type thriller book. It's coming from a great studio. It just something pulled me in uh, and I was super excited about it. But did it hold up to the hype? Now what I will tell you is I do really like that opening artwork. It was a little bit different from what we saw uh, throughout the rest of the book. Uh, but the artwork did change a little bit and I really did enjoy it. The artwork this week was definitely my favorite out of all of the books I read this week and kind of going to do the review on. So it was pretty cool. And I also love the fact that there wasn't too much dialogue in this book. A lot of times comic book writers, they tend to just put so much dialogue that it becomes, eh, and sometimes bad dialogue in a way, it becomes a chore to read the book and I didn't feel like that on Basilisk. Definitely gave this dark mood, it was very interesting um, and I thought it was pretty interesting that the sci-fi twist to it, right? You have these couple of different factions, uh, it's kind of what I'm calling little groups or whatever, um, and this girl who is tracking down one of the runaway members and she's going to try to make this girl pay for what she did to her and we don't really know 100% about what happened. Um, but it's, it's very interesting. But we did see a group called the Faithless, and then we, we you know, kind of see that the Chimera is actually the group of five that have these interesting sci-fi powers that kind of are going to be the antagonist of the books. I'm very interested to see about the Faithless a little more, but obviously the center of this book is going to revolve around the main character with the blindfold and the, the, the concept of when she opens up her eyes, people just, it's this bright light, and people are bleeding from their eyes. It was really, really cool. Um, so all in all, super interesting, super intriguing, great story, great first issue. It, it gave us an antagonist, a protagonist, uh, it gave us some backstory and kind of gave us an idea of where the book's going to go, but I think leaves plenty of room, um, for twists and turns and changes. So all in all, Boss List number one was an awesome read this week. The next book I read was AWA Studios Moths, um, being very candid with you guys, point blank, uh, the story was not interesting to me. It did not pull me in. Uh, I did not like the artwork even remotely. The beginning with the lettering inside the notepads just was very, very strange to me. I did not like it, uh, and I won't be picking it up again. Uh, I tried, but this is certainly one of the weirder of the books. The concept of what would you do with your life if you had powers, but it only allowed you to have those and you only had six months left to live. That concept seems cool, but the way it was presented, the storyline so far, just not something that was for me. So I'm gonna pass on picking this up anymore. So the next one is Out of Body from Aftershocks. So I was pretty interested to, to read this one, to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't know much about it other than the cover, um, but I will tell you the concept is pretty neat. I just didn't feel like the book's one I'm gonna continue to pick up, to be quite fair. It's about a psychologist, he gets injured, uh, and he's kind of, narrating the book in his head, what's happening in the hospital room, and he's trying to figure out how he died, what happened, uh, was he murdered, who could it have been. Uh, the beginning scenes kind of were, was weird with these psychic groups, and there's clearly going to be, um, you know, a bad group of psychics or whatever they're gonna end up calling themselves, and uh, this one psychic, and they're both trying to go after this guy's um, astra, the soul, eh, this astral soul type. Uh, it just didn't catch me. But the art was really good. I did actually quite like the artwork in this book, but the story just didn't pull me in enough. So that's gonna be one I'm definitely gonna probably not pick up anymore. Um, but it was not a terrible story, just one I'm not really interested in any further. Now this last book, ha Nice House on the Lake, I think this is one that everybody was super excited for. So the concept is really cool. The idea of this guy who hasn't really spoken to a lot of these folks in several years or recently, or, and he's, but he's had a big impact or they've had a big impact on him. Um, so he brings all these folks to the lake via emails. And what was really cool is there's one point in there where uh, James Tynan mentions, I think it's Tiny Onion Studio, and everybody always calls James Tynan's name Ty Tinyan or 
tiny onion, like it sounds like that. So that was a pretty cool little Easter egg he threw in there. Um, so it was an interesting concept, interesting setup. I will tell you, every other panel or comic book bubble had a gratuitous F word in it. Um, I literally think they couldn't have put it in anymore. It made no sense. In some panels, it was just F word, blank, F word for note, like, and it would happen three or four times. Like, to me, got that was just, it was, I was just sick of reading it in my head, to be honest with you, at that point. So that pulled me way out of it because it's every five seconds, F word, and it was just in random conversation. But I will tell you, the, the setup, I kind of got lost halfway through the book until the girl sitting at the lake and she's reading her phone and she starts scrolling through social media feeds and starts seeing, oh my God, what's happening in New York? People are dying, stuff's on fire. Um, it was just an interesting setup. And then the guy shows up and he's like, look, I brought you all here. The world's ending. I'm not gonna, I can't tell you much more why or who I am or what I am or anything like that. I'll come visit you every once in a while. You guys are basically gonna live here. Everybody else in the world screwed. Just forget about it. Um, so it's pretty interesting. I, I think that was, I mean, we've not seen anything like this before, I think, so that's pretty cool. But I will tell you, um, I'm really expecting a twist, right? Like, is it really an alien or some type of weird alien race? Or is this some type of weird social experiment and they're just manipulating the data coming into the phones? Like maybe I'm thinking into it too much. But it was interesting. Um, again, the first half of the book, like, I was just totally pulled out of, uh, out of it. I feel like the setup could have gone much quicker. Um, but I'm thinking maybe the details that he was, Tynion was giving us so much you know, all the word bubbles, all the profiles. I'm thinking that that maybe is going to be important down the road. And if not, then it was just a ton of wasted time and effort. Um, but geez, I really hope that next issue is not just F word, F word, you know, maybe one line of decent dialogue that means something F word, F word, F word. It's just, that was so pointless to me. And that really pulled me out of the story. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. What was your favorite book this week? For me, it was absolutely Bossless. I did read Firepower, but to be honest with you guys, that book's just fallen off for me. Just wasn't my, this was my cup of tea. And now I feel like each issue is just a slow burn and we're slowly burning. And issue 12 was good, but it was like this, especially this oversized issue of 42 pages. Like the last 12 of it was just ad and uh, not literally, but ad. And then, you know, the, the, the back post. I just feel like nothing's really paying off. There's not enough to grab me anymore. To be honest with you, the prelude was far better than anything else we've actually seen since then. So I'm probably gonna stop picking up firepower. I know, I know. But guys, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Again, welcome to Comic Book Reviews by Two Brothers Comics. Uh, I hope you enjoy this new setup and check out the main channel, Two Brothers Comics. Uh, link will be down in the description below. As always, collect your way.